Hi guys, and welcome to this episode of CNM Explorers. My name is Mike Murphy, and today we're going to look at why raw honey and bee pollen are some of nature's superfoods. Coming up, we're going to look at raw honey versus processed honey, pure honey, organic honey. What does it all mean? How are they different? We're going to look at certain bee products like bee pollen, propolis. We're going to explore the world of bees and how important they are to our population and our food production. We're also going to go deep inside the hive and look at what goes on in the production of raw honey. So let's go find ourselves some bees. The bee colony is a highly social, biological unit with a very effective communication system using pheromones to relay information about the environment. Bee colonies are considered to be superorganisms where the individual bees are merely components of the organism, almost like cells in a body. A typical beehive can have 60,000 bees in the colony, and the majority of those bees are foragers who can work up to 12 hours a day collecting nectar. It's remarkable to think that it takes about 50,000 flowers to produce one teaspoon of honey. Bees make honey to feed themselves. It's their primary carbohydrate source giving them energy and also keeping them alive during the winter months where there are no flowers to collect nectar from. A single colony will make an average of 70 kilograms of honey in a year, but they usually produce a considerable surplus, sometimes two to three times what they need themselves. So quite a lot can be harvested without negatively impacting the colony. Modern beehives consist of wooden boxes, each holding between 8 to 10 wooden frames that contain a thin sheet of wax foundation from which the bees build their honeycombs on. Before collecting the honey, the bees are typically calmed with smoke, which reduces aggressiveness and prevents them from sending out alarm signals. The surplus combs are gathered and the caps are scraped off the honeycomb cells, and they're then spun in a centrifuge that forces the honey out of the cells. So here we have one of the wooden frames that we just pulled out of that hive. You see this beautiful honeycomb in there that is this tightly packed hexagonal shaped cell that the bees manufacture. This holds you know, close to a kilogram of raw honey. So you see the comb inside the frame and you can see along the edges this propolis which the bees manufacture to maintain the hive. They use it as a glue. Propolis is a resinous substance that they, they make out of saliva and wax and resin from tree buds and sap. You see, on top of all these hexagonal cells, you see they're capped with wax. It's kind of a watery honey, and so the bees inside the hive will flap their wings to evaporate and remove some of that water content. And only when the moisture content gets just right, at about 18%, they will then cap the cell because that's the level that is saturation point that prevents the fermentation of the natural yeast. So here it is. This is raw honey at its finest. Raw honey is thick and quite sticky, which can make filtering and jarring somewhat difficult. So large-scale honey providers and honey cooperatives commonly heat or pasteurize honey to make it thinner and easier to filter. This process of heating up the honey to high temperatures, in addition to allowing higher levels of filtration, can make the honey clearer, and it also delays crystallization, essentially extending its pourability or shelf life. Now, it has to be said that nature did not intend for honey to be heated to high temperatures and ultra-filtered. And when you do, the beneficial enzymes are destroyed, the nutrients are degraded, and the pollen is removed. Raw honey is a live food with powerful, health-giving benefits. When it's heated to much above the maximum temperature of the hive, just under 40 degrees Celsius, tragically, the health-promoting properties are lost. It essentially becomes not much more than a honey-flavored sweetener. Now, when we talk about the nutritional components of honey, it's largely various sugars and water, but we also find an abundance of vitamins, over 30 minerals, over 20 different amino acids and proteins. We find natural enzymes as well as antioxidant molecules, all of which are used by the hive to keep the bees and the hive healthy. And of course, these nutrients and compounds are very much healthy for humans as well. 
Now there are a number of different classifications of honey that you'll see on labels. Let's discuss some of them and what they mean. Pure honey you'll commonly see on labels. What does that mean? Well, it's not uncommon for processed honey that you'll find in the supermarket, for example, to be laced with other types of sweetening agents like corn syrup, for example. Manufacturers add this to pad out the honey. So when it says pure honey, what that means is that there is only honey in that bottle or jar. But what it usually also means is that the honeys that are in that jar are from multiple countries and almost always they've been highly processed and pasteurized. Now when we talk about organic honey, what that signifies is that the hives have to be positioned in a location where they can guarantee for at least a five to seven kilometer radius only organic agriculture. So that means there could be no motorways, no industry, and certainly no spraying of pesticides. But just because it says organic honey, that doesn't mean that it hasn't been highly processed and ultra filtered and pasteurized, which kills all the natural enzymes, degrades most of the health beneficial properties and nutrients in the honey. Now when we talk about raw honey, we're talking about unprocessed honey. This is honey that's been taken from the hive as nature intends it to be. It hasn't been processed. It hasn't been heated at all. It's simply been strained to remove dirt, perhaps air bubbles, and maybe parts of bees or even dead bees that can sometimes end up in the honey. This way of producing honey preserves all the nutritional aspects of honey and all the health giving properties. Honey has a long history of use by humans. We've found 8,000 year old cave paintings in Spain that depict humans foraging for honey. And we see honey referenced in ancient texts from cultures literally all over the globe. But of course, it's highly likely that early hunter-gatherer humans would have relied on this substance as an occasional food source if they were lucky enough to come across it. But it has to be said that honey's nutritional value is only half the story. For thousands of years, humans have known that honey can be very useful to aid wound healing. But it wasn't until the late 19th century that we discovered why. We now know that raw honey has powerful medicinal properties. You see, honey is somewhat acidic, and it's this low pH level that bacteria find uninhabitable. Honey also contains a small percentage of hydrogen peroxide, which is made by an enzyme in the bee's stomach when combined with the glucose and the nectar. And as you might know, you can buy hydrogen peroxide at the chemist to clean wounds. It's these properties, along with the high sugar and low moisture content, that create an environment where germs are unable to take hold and multiply. Scientists have proven that raw honey can inhibit the growth of bacterial strains such as E. coli, Salmonella, and Listeria, to name a few. Now, due to the different floral sources, the medicinal potency can vary dramatically between honeys. You may have heard of a honey known as Manuka honey. This is a honey unique to New Zealand and is made by bees that collect nectar from the Manuka flower, which has particularly strong medicinal properties, and it's been used for centuries to treat all manner of ailments because of these unique properties, most microorganisms do not survive in honey, and therefore a sealed jar of raw honey does not spoil even for thousands of years. And this just goes to show how raw honey is such a powerful medicine and superfood. Pollen is the bee's source of protein, and it's mostly used to feed the young. It's packed with vitamins and minerals and lipids and enzymes and antioxidants. It's recognized as a superfood because of its nutrient density, and it's been shown in research to be beneficial for things like lowering heart disease risk, protecting the liver, boosting immunity, lowering inflammation, and even helping with menopause symptoms. The best way to consume pollen, add it to a smoothie or porridge. So hopefully you'll agree with us that raw honey and bee pollen should not only be in everybody's pantry, but they probably deserve a top shelf seat in the medicine cabinet as well. But you're unlikely to find raw honey in the supermarket because as we said, most supermarket honeys have been highly processed and had all of their nutritional properties and health benefits destroyed. You're far more likely to find raw honey and bee pollen at your local farmer's market, or maybe you're lucky enough to know a local beekeeper like Green Valleys here in Brighton that we visited today. If you like this episode, why not give us a like and subscribe to the channel so we can keep you up to date with future episodes. Until next time, you stay healthy.